So I guess I start off by saying welcome back to Mortal Wolf Among Us. Episode 3 is finally here. As usual, if you guys can support this with a like, a comment, favorite, subscribe if you new, share this around. It will be really helpful and we are going to get started. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Motherfucking piece of shit! Crane? Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait! What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Yep, you heard it here first. Ichabod Crane is the fucking killer. That really sucks. Okay, so let's see. I hear people talking. Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. If you're here, here we go. You were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that, that the memory of your highness. Oh, uh, Sheriff. I'm sorry, I uh I didn't see you there. 
How you holding up? About as well as you think. I haven't had any other, um... It's never been as bad as when you saw me, at least. I was angry at first. When I heard that Lily was getting a funeral. That Holly was getting closure. I wanted that, too. And I wanted it for Faith. But then I remembered Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after with me. For a while. So let Lily have the better finish. It all evened it out. None of this was your fault, Lawrence. It wasn't my fault, but I didn't stop it. Take care of things, okay? Moment of silence. Thank you. So I wonder how we should tell her that Crane is a killer. She has a right I'll to know, that's for sure. You. I'll miss our fights. I'll miss you. Holly. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Look, Holly, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this is ah, I get the fuck out of here. here. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm going to tell them right off the bat. Your sister. Who? Maybe I'm telling them right now. Somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. We all deserve to know. I know Here we go. I'm gonna tell them. This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Maybe I shouldn't have told him at the fucking funeral. <laughs> I messed up the funeral, man. Holy shit. That did not go like I expected it to. What the fuck? Crane. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy... He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Bigby? What's going on? Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I... listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. He... He plays your story over and over again. This is... 
I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I thought, uh, I thought that Crane might be looking for you. Uh, I thought you might be in trouble. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Coming! Holy crap! Shit just got real in a funeral, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? I tell you to run, but it won't do any good. Just make it more fun for me. What are you dreaming about? You ain't a fast enough pup to prevent me from emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over there. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother? Speak your mind. Fastly now. Holy yeah, shit. Fine, I'll leave Crane alone. Just get out of here. Pleasure to hear it. I'm lying, Ladies obviously. Invertebrates, please. Rest easy. This is not what the hell is going on. What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're happy to report that everything went smoothly. So if you'll just allow us to get out of your hair. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Settle down, settle down now. I said, all right already. Just go. And go we shall as men of our word. We won't ruin any more of the wedding or whatever. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I say? Ollie? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Holly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Ah, shit. No! Holy shit! I got it done. They fucking murdered Holly, dude. That's fucked up. 
They murdered that guy too. Holy shit, I got murdered also. <laughs> Everyone's down. Everyone's down. Except me, I'm still alive. Holy fuck. At a funeral, dude. I'm so... I don't even know what to say right now. That was so bad. Jesus Christ, Telltale. Did you have to let people get murdered at a fucking funeral? That's not even fucking remotely good, man. So now we have a deal not to go after Crane, so I guess I'll leave him alone, but I'm going after Tweedledee and Tweedledum, definitely, dude. These guys, they have to go down. Nothing else. I want to kill both of them, then we're going to get Ichabob, and this game is going to be over with. It's going to be over. Episode 3, A Crooked Mile. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. Alright then. Eat more ahead. chicken. That's gonna hit with a bullet to my shoulder, dude. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then she was looking at my chest. So we she wants the dick. To go after. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But, I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, I don't want to just go running off into the night without some direction. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if, I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him, I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes... Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? 
It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Sure. It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to... Well, who just, the fuck said you know, that? Stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Well, yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Okay. So... I hope that you guys enjoyed the first part of the Wolf Among Us episode 3. I will bring you more of this in upcoming days. Thank you for watching. Remember press that like button and share this around. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and favorite the video. And I will see all of you later. Take it easy.